everybody. It is, oh geez, it's 20 past nine. I'm having a slow start today for no particular reason other than I guess it's Friday and I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't planning on vlogging this week. I was like thinking of my live stream that I did on Monday as like a replacement for the vlog this week, but I keep getting so many lovely comments on my vlogs from people saying that they just really like seeing my day and that it's like, I don't know, helping them in this time to see a bit of norm like normality for someone else, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm sure that the vast majority of people watching like wouldn't care if I skipped a week of um, uploading a vlog. But for those people who have really been liking these, this vlog is for you and you are the reason that I decided to vlog today. Um, it, like I said, it's 9.20 and I haven't really started work for the day, haven't had my coffee yet, haven't done my workout yet. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna get my, like, thoughts together and I'm not sure what this vlog will include because I'm not entirely sure exactly what I'm gonna work on today yet. I think it'll be designing our homepage. Um, I've been working on another, like, well, not really a GIF like I showed you in the last vlog because this one's gonna be a video, but another animation, like a product animation. So that's been fun. It's been a completely new skill for me to be trying to figure out how to do this and like what the best way is to demonstrate how a product works, but also make it look really simple and fun. And I don't know, it's a lot of stuff. So I will show you an update on how that project is going. Um, yeah, let's just start the day, I guess. I think I need to make a coffee so that my brain can function. <laughs> not talk about the fact that I'm wearing the same hoodie you saw in the last vlog. I thought maybe I should change, um, but like this is the reality of quarantine life, right? We're wearing the same hoodie <laughs> for a week at a time. Just, just gotta be real. <laughs> just watching a couple of tutorials because I'm trying to work out how to stop um this part in this like animation that i'm making from like see how the path crosses over itself to get to that next point ah um i think i figured out it's something to do with where the path starts in illustrator um so <laughs> i need to figure out how to change that next <laughs> shape morphing thing so we've got that going how I want uh, I've ended up um, I don't know if I'm going way overboard with this uh, I did a version of this animation right and I shared it with the team and they really liked it and they were like I think this is a good direction so I feel like it's okay <laughs> the amount of time I'm spending on this but um, now I've just sort of made a bit of a storyboard in Figma so we start here and then this will be the next frame um, go down to this one go along to this one go along to this one, um, just sort of like, I guess trying to map it out in my head <laughs> and, and figure this whole thing out. Actually, let me show you the first version of the thing that I did. So basically my idea is there's this shot of Eric uh, working on his art, and then it sort of morphs into that being part of a landing page, which then shows being part of an automation, and then shows an email being sent out, and then it comes like back around again to him doing his art. So it's like a loop, you know? Um, so this was the idea that I showed to the team and they liked it, but like me, they thought that it looked a bit strange being so boxed in. I don't know that that just wasn't, wasn't the right way to go. Uh, so for this second version of the idea, which is, I've only just started working on, it appears more in this sort of blob shape. So it's more integrated into the space rather than being um, yeah, in a, in a square the whole time. So I'm doing that and then I'm also adding in, um, like I showed, some more of this 
like we wanted to show a fork in the automation because that's one of the cool features of ConvertKit is being able to like, you know, send people down different funnels and paths. So yeah, I'm hoping I can do this without it looking too complex. Like I want it to look like be understandable, this little animation. Um, so I guess that's going to be my afternoon is editing this version um, to see what I can do. If you've been watching my uh, design school project series, the next one should be coming out next week, I hope, the, which will be the last video in the series. But um, in it, you will have seen that in year three of my design degree, I majored in motion graphics for a little bit. I decided against it in the end in making that my official major. But um, yeah, I took a bunch of motion graphics classes. So it's kind of fun to be um, pulling on all those skills again, you know, and uh, seeing seeing how I can involve them in web design. Anyway, right now I'm going to go and do my daily workout. I don't feel like doing it, but I've been doing this thing where I put my workout clothes on in the morning because um, then like later in the day when it comes time to do a workout, I'm already dressed for it. So there's literally no excuse. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. <laughs> That I've got, which I'm excited about. I need to like flatten them out because they're very curled at the moment, obviously. I think it was in in the last vlog, maybe it was in my live stream, I don't know. Someone asked um, what else will be going on the wall with my Anthony Burrell prints that I think I showed in the last vlog. And yes, one of the answer is those prints, but I also have a lot more on the way. I ordered a bunch of frames yesterday too, which I'm excited about. Um, they'll probably take a few weeks to get here, but um, so will the rest of the art that I've ordered. So um, that's that's fine. I'm just so excited to start like, filling in this corner and then filling in this wall with more art. It's gonna be fun. Anyway, I just had lunch and, and getting my phone out of my pocket. I've been listening to my friend Alexis has a new podcast. It's called Deeper Life. Let me show you what the art looks like so you can recognize it. Um, it's just full of amazing conversations with people. So it's all about vulnerability and um, like connecting with, with a deeper life, I guess, the clues in the name, you know, um, just going a little bit deeper than, than you'd usually expect on an interview podcast. They're like, you know, soul searching kind of conversations. And I'm not just saying this because she's my friend, but I have been absolutely loving listening to it. So I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. Go download it, it's just like, it's like a breath of fresh air for a podcast basically. Highly, highly recommend, a very good listen. Um, I don't know about you, but I've been actually struggling for when to listen to podcasts lately. I'm a big podcast fan and normally I go for big long walks and listen. And um, sadly right now, that is not something I can do. And so I've been listening to these shows in pieces while I eat lunch, while I make my coffee in the morning. Anyway, I'm making a cup of tea right now and then I'm gonna get into my afternoon work session. I might get a copyright strike for including that little clip of a song, but I do not even care because it's really good. I've been listening to it on repeat literally all day. I'm ending up my work day now and I realized that I, I don't know, I just feel like I haven't talked to you much throughout the day. And so I want to give you a recap of what I've been doing. Um, the first thing to show you is that to end my day, I've been using 15.5, which is software that we use at ConvertKit for um, tracking our objectives, our OKRs. So I've just put all mine in here for the quarter. So that feels good. I've got my like list of things that I can start working through. So that's good. That's like a little admin task done. 
Next thing I guess to update you on is how the uh, animation has been going. And like, I feel like it's probably been really confusing how I've been talking about it. Um, I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'm gonna sit over here so that I can, you know, embed the thing right there. This is what I've got happening so far. So like my goal was to show like a creator creating something, then then showing, like putting that in context. So, so showing a creator making something and then it like turning into a landing page, showing how you'd go through the flow of an automation and be sending someone an email. Uh, and I wanted it to loop. So yeah, it's it's got its issues. I know that it's definitely not perfect, but I'm really happy with how it's coming together. Like the idea that I had in my head is coming to life, albeit slowly um, and a little bit like janky at the moment, but we're gonna get there with it. Right now I'm ending the week thinking that that is gonna be the new header for our homepage. Who knows what will happen next week? I might change my mind, I don't know, but we'll see. I've definitely this week ended up not doing like as many things as I wanted to because of investing so much time into this animation stuff, but um, I think it's been worth it because even if we don't end up using this for the homepage header, like I said at the moment, I think I want to, but you know, um, I think it'll be useful for like product ads or something else. I don't know. So yeah, it's been good. Been good to flex those after effects muscles, you know, now, um, oh crap. Okay. There's one thing I forgot that I have to do before I can actually sign off and go play Animal Crossing, which is what I want to do. So I guess I will do that one last thing that I have to do. That is export a version of like where I'm at with the homepage, which do you want to see it? I guess I'll show you. Let's have a look, shall we? Um, so there's still like, none of this is final. There's still ideas being played with here, but this is my idea for what our home page will be like. So it's like a creator with, with text next to them. Then there's a bit about the product um, going into our call to action. And then like the latest guide, workshop, whatever, showing at the bottom. Um, that's the idea so far. And I need to export this and add it to Envision so that Danny, the copywriter that I work with, can um, work from it and like know what words she's going to be writing, I suppose. That's the thing I feel like they didn't really talk about in design school at least, or I don't know, um, that I'm excited to talk about more in this marketing design series that I'm going to be working on. I talked about that in the last vlog, if you um, watched that, um, is like the, all the project management stuff that comes along with being a designer. You are not just sitting there designing things and like someone else does all the organization for you. At least that's not how I've ever experienced it in my career. Um, you've got to do a lot of that yourself and it's an important skill to have one that i definitely am still improving at and still working on to this day speaking of that series though i'm i'm gonna film the first video for it this weekend so yeah that's underway it's happening if you are a marketing designer at a tech company if you're like the designer on the marketing team working on the website working on branded materials that sort of thing because i know that different companies call it different things um I'm going to leave a link in the description to a little survey that I'd love for you to fill out if you'd be interested in being on this series. I want to get a bunch of different companies covered and like different levels of designer and different um, sizes of company and all that sort of thing. I think it's going to be cool. I'm excited about it anyway. There'll be more information in the description if that sounds at all interesting to you. Uh, I will end this vlog here. I don't think it's been my best, but I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for these past few minutes anyway. Uh, and like I said at the start of the vlog, just thank you to everyone who's been leaving such nice comments on my vlog since I started making them again. Um, I don't know, it can be easy when you don't get feedback to feel like what you're doing isn't important or it's like it's not worth the time or whatever. Uh, and so, yeah, hearing from you just, it makes me feel really good. It inspires me to keep sharing the things that I'm like, is this really boring? Like, why would anyone care what I'm working on today? And so whenever you comment and tell me that you do care what I'm working on, that's why I do these vlogs. So yeah, thank you to all you lovely people. I appreciate you a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm gonna go export this design, upload it to Envision, and then head straight to Animal Crossing. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a good weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.